All right, this is the uh, start of my uh, Hephaestus build. Um, this is me throwing a bunch of things together for an AI workstation. Um, so I could just make a bunch of different kinds of stuff. Anyways, this is the um, um, Asus Pro uh, WRX80E Sage SC Wi-Fi 2 motherboard. Um, it, is, uh, it has support for an AMD Threadripper Pro. That's right there. Um, it has 128 PCIe lanes. Um, so that way I can put a bunch of uh, graphics cards here uh, so I can do some, some processing. Um, and this is uh, PCIe 4 lanes, uh, two terabytes of memory support. So there's eight channels there. So I can put all of these in there. Um, there is, let's see here, so there's the seven slots, and um, they're all X16 slots, so that's kind of the, the, the advantage of having a Threadripper Pro. Um, let me see, uh, 16 power stages. So this is gonna be, uh, they're kind of all underneath there. Yeah, under the heat sinks. <clears throat> and then um, two U.2 connections, and they're probably right there. Um, a dual 10G uh, Ethernet. So let me see if I can get you a shot there. Kind of the I.O. right there. Um, two USB 3.2 Type-C, uh, the support for 20 giga, gigabits per second transfer. Um, the other thing is that this supports the uh, out-of-band support. So it has kind of the support to be able to uh, control this motherboard um, through kind of its own dedicated network uh, off of the main network that, that usually a motherboard will run off of. Um, so it's running on here so you can control all the things related to the motherboard and you know, turn things on and off and uh, control fans, things like that. And then, um, let's see, it does come in the box. Um, it comes with this Hyper M2 X16 Gen 4 card. Um, so, you, so you can kind of put four NVMe SSDs in it. Um, yeah, so that's the motherboard. Okay, so this is the uh, Threadripper Pro that I ended up getting. This is the uh, 5975WX. What's nice is that uh, the newer chips have come out, so these have kind of ended up reducing in price. So I ended up picking one of these instead. So this actually has a, uh, let's see here, 32 uh, cores, 64 threads, um, unlocked for overclocking. Um, let's see what else. It's got the coolest name ever. I mean, a thread ripper, right? So it's, that's kind of the, the name of the processor. It's a seven nanometer Zen three architecture, uh, SWRX eight. Um, so it'll fit in that socket right there. Um, base clock is, uh, 3.6 gigahertz boosts up to 4.5 gigahertz. Um, L1 cache, two megabytes, L2 cache, 16 megabytes, L3 cache, 128 megabytes, um, 280 watt TDP, so pretty hot, uh, and it has a max temperature of 95 uh, degrees Celsius. Um, the big uh, benefit of this chip is that it's a PCIe 4 um, uh, processor, so uh, the GPUs that I'm going to be running will be using PCIe 4 uh, X16, and I want to be able to take advantage of the speed. Let's see here. And then it has um, eight channels. Uh, obviously, that can support the eight channels of the uh, DDR4 3200 meg uh, memory uh, RAM. And then these, I have, let's see, are eight of these. And this is uh, Micron 
Uh, I, I have 64 gigs. Each one of these are 64 gig sticks, and I have eight of these. So it's uh, 512 gigs of uh, um, DDR4 3200 RDIM to RX4 memory. So yeah, this, this should be uh, pretty speedy and um, it's not like the uh, high density kind of things where I have to worry about the uh, power usage and things like that. So, uh, but this will definitely take a lot of power. So we'll have to see how that all works out. Anyways, that's, that's kind of where I'm at and uh, I'm gonna start to piece this thing together and throw it into my, I guess my new nifty case. All right, so I uh, put the chip in place. Um, box comes with one of these torque wrenches. So you're supposed to uh, open it up like that. This kind of comes up and this tray slides out. Red Ripper Pro slides in and there should be a click. comes off, this goes down, and it goes over. Okay, and when you close, it says close by one, two, and then three. So I kind of closed all of these. And then you're supposed to turn this until it clicks. One, two, three. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna check the torque on this using my digital torque wrench. Okay. I think these should be at about one point five is what it says. One 
0.25. So it looks like this torque wrench is actually at about 1.25 um, Newton meters. All right, and I'm uh, taking the memory and adding the memory right now. Okay, and there is 512 gigs of um, server memory added to the motherboard. See all the empty packages here.